Good evening. Um, my name is Russell Tippin. I'm the president and CEO of Medical Center Health System. Thank you for being here tonight. Um, even though it's late in the evening, we appreciate y'all being here and everybody we have up here with us. Um, I, we have some uh, news we will need to report tonight, but before we get started in that, I just want to take a quick minute, uh, first of all, to thank um, all of our leaders, um, all our city leaders, all our county leaders, and everybody that's been involved in our process in this community to uh, get ready for where we are today in our nation and where we are in Odessa and Ector County. I also want to take a minute, I wouldn't be uh, doing my duty if I didn't call for a time for everybody in this community to take a second tonight to pray for each other, to pray for us uh, as a hospital, to pray for us as a community and as a nation. Um, I ask for your prayers for me as the leader of this hospital, for our, all our nurses and doctors and our judges, and, and that if you think you've prayed enough, say one more, because uh, as we move forward, uh, we need that. We need the peace, we need the strength, and we need the help um, of our Lord above to get us all through this and just to get this process moving. So if you're hearing my voice tonight, please say an extra prayer for us and our team at Medical Center, for our friends down the street at Odessa Regional, for everybody that's going to be uh, involved in it, which is everybody in, the, in this nation. So please take time to do that. All right, so we're here tonight because Medical Center, uh, we do have uh, to report our two first positive cases of the COVID-19. We have those uh, confirmed, um, two here in the hospital. I can tell you that uh, these two patients, uh, one is a 58-year-old male and one is a 55-year-old female. Uh, they have both been in our hospital in proper um, areas for about three days as patients. So we've had them in the building. They have been in our um, areas that we have set up for these type of patients. So our staff have been um, aware that these are persons of suspect and that we have taken the necessary precautions to protect our staff and to get um, these people treated. But these two are confirmed. So, so those are our, our first uh, two at Medical Center. Um, and I'm kind of glad that we've got these going so we can move past this point and get into the treatment of our patients and, and start focus on, focusing on recovery for our community and for our patients. Um, I will tell you that as of the, right now, uh, that just at Medical Center, we have tested 39 patients. 14 of those are pending approval from the health department to go up to the state. So those are in pending process. And, 11 of the, uh, and then 11 more are uh, waiting on result. So we have, uh, I wanted to give you those numbers. I know that's a hot topic, but I wanted to give you those to let you know that those are in process. We have seen a ramp up in testing this weekend. And so as this process goes through, we'll have more numbers to give out um, as those become available. Um, but we just wanted to report those. I think the main situation we wanted to report tonight and that we wanted to convey tonight is that uh, at Medical Center, we are ready for this. We have been ready. Uh, we have, we've had teams that have been meeting for weeks. If y'all remember, our first get together was about a month ago and we, we have been prepared, we are prepared. We have isolated floors to put these patients on. Uh, we have uh, upstaffed um, our nurses and doctors and housekeepers and got them ready for this. Um, we have uh, equipment ready to go and so we are ready. We have many contingency plans in place. Um, should one of our units fill up, we're ready to go to the next one. And if that one fills up, we're ready to go to the next one. So our contingency plans are good. They're ready. We talk about these every day. Our health uh, emergency management team is meeting every day, has been for about two or three weeks. So we are ready for this. And the plans are in motion, and they'll stay in motion until we get through this part of uh, this uh, virus. But our crew's ready. Um, and we are going to be very proud and are proud of them and the work they're doing and uh, the care that they're going to be able to provide. Um, I just can't stress enough about our contingency plans. They're ready. Um, they're already in motion. And so um, I just feel like we're ready to step up and really knock this out of the park. I want to uh, talk to our community for a minute just about uh, tests. And if you're not feeling good, where do you go? 
we're trying to say keep that emergency room free of non-emergent patients. When I say non-emergent, if you're having trouble breathing, you have some chest pain, to me that's probably emergent. If you're not, that's non-emergent. And we're trying to drive those into our urgent care clinics to make sure that our emergency room is available for true emergency patients. We have um, urgent care centers all over town. You can go there, you can get um, in front of a doctor and a provider and get that situation handled. But at the same time, we really want to focus on keeping that ER open for true emergencies, okay? And I, I want to get that out there to our community. We, we want to take care of you. Everybody wants to take care of, of our community. We just want to drive those patients to the proper location so that way we can keep the emergency room open for true emergencies. Now, I know some people are going to say, hey, if it's me, it's an emergency no matter what. We understand that. We all feel that. But we want to make sure that our true emergents are going to get the care they need. Um, on, if you're having what you think are symptoms of this, we can direct you to our urgent care clinics to, to get taken care of there.